Hello everybody, this is Mudafar. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to deploy your website on Cloudflare's Pages platform. So we can deploy our websites to Cloudflare uh, for free with up to 10k of requests per day. To start, please go to desktop.cloudflare.com and from there, uh, you create your account to Cloudflare and uh, once it is done, uh, login and then you will end up on this uh, dashboard here from here click on pages and this will show you your existing projects if you have any otherwise you can press this uh, create a project button and uh, choose any of these options to upload your website to Cloudflare so if you have your website ready on your local computer you can click on direct upload to upload it directly to Cloudflare and another option which is quite interesting is uh, connect to git this is where you connect your github repository uh, where you have your website uh, uh, this repository will be connected to cloudflare so any changes you do to your uh, repository will be uh, reflected in cloudflare uh, deployment right away so i can uh, go with direct upload uh, but I think uh, it is better to show you an example with uh, connect to git uh, option so yeah without further ado let's try to uh, uh, use this option to deploy our website to cloudflare pages before we do that uh, let's go to our github account and uh, create a repository with some uh, uh, html files right so I'm here on my GitHub account. I will go to Repositories tab and click New. In here, I will name the repository as a Demo Project and I'll keep it as private. Then I'll just uh, press Create Repository button. And then I will, uh, if, you, if, you, if you have a website uh, locally, you can upload it uh, directly here. Uh, like uh, uh, if you have like single file, Otherwise, you can, you know, uh, clone this repository and then push your whole uh, website to the repository directly from your local computer. In my case, I'll just uh, create a file from here. I'll name it as index.html. And here, I will just add uh, these uh, contents since this is for testing purpose only, right? And uh, I have h1 here and title and finally i have some message since this is a main uh, branch right so i'll just press commit new file button and then i will have this file here now let's go back to uh, cloudflare and uh, here let's press this create a project button and uh, click connect to git from here uh, like you have to uh, configure uh, github uh, uh, access in from cloudflare so cloudflare is able to you know uh, access your repositories on your github account uh, for in my case it is already uh, connected the cloudflare is already connected to my github account so i am able to see my github account here in your case you might need to click on the add account button and then follow the instructions to connect your github account to cloudflare so once it is done, uh, you will find uh, Cloudflare's app in your GitHub uh, settings. And uh, because of that uh, integration, uh, you will be able to see your GitHub repositories in Cloudflare. So uh, I'm able to see these two repositories from my GitHub account, uh, but they are already in use and uh, what I want to do now is I want to see this uh, demo project repository uh, in my Cloudflare account so that I can deploy it uh, to Cloudflare pages, right? So I am not seeing uh, that demo project repository here because I did not configure my uh, uh, GitHub uh, Cloudflare app in my GitHub account to access all the repositories. I just selected specific uh, these two uh, repositories from there. So in order, I, I uh, in order to access this new repository, I need to update the settings. So from here, I can click Cloudflare Pages link, 
and it will take me to my github account and here i can see the setting for my github pages uh, app in my github setting right so it is inside the integration and applications and here i can see i have uh, given access to cloudflare to these two repositories uh, but i could also select you know all repositories so it is able to access all but in my case i am following this option and let's now click on select repositories and then uh, add another uh, add give access to the uh, cloudflare pages to another repository i have here so demo project and then save so with that change i should uh, be able to see uh, that repository in my uh, cloudflare uh, deployment setting so let's close this and go back to the original one so now yeah if you see this uh, i can see this demo project repository let's click it and begin setup right and the name of the project uh, like whatever uh, name you want to give it here it will be your url so you see it is demo project and uh, with that url i am getting this uh, uh, website url right so whatever uh, is unique it will put dot pages dot dev right it will be pre uh, suffixed with this uh, url so i think demo project is an existing repository let me create something that is unique so i don't get this uh, random uh, word there so let's say the first yeah so you see i am able to create this uh, url with this project name and it i am not receiving any random uh, word there because it is kind of unique right uh, nobody has used this in cloudflare page before so yeah for now let's stick to demo project i don't care about additional word there uh, dot uh, dash doz and then uh, let's select which branch you want uh, this uh, deployment to access right uh, in my case i have only a main branch here so that i'm getting main branch here if i had like multiple branches i could get you know other branches here as well right so i won't change anything else i will just press save and deploy button and once it is done i should be able to see the deployed site so yeah it is almost done let's go back to github and refresh and Oh yeah, I can see the status deployed successfully, right? So let's go back to this and I think deployment is done. Yeah, let's click continue to project. And uh, from here, I can see the URL already. Now let's go back to the pages again and we can see my new project uh, being listed here. I can click uh, visit site to see my website uh directly so you see the url we picked while creating the project so demo project dash doz dot pages dot dev this is kind of uh uh like a main url for github uh, for cloudflare's pages so uh what we receive is subdomain basically uh with whatever project name we chose right so you see i am seeing my website deployed so this was a success now let's go back and explore a few settings so let's explore a few settings here uh, let me click on view details uh, and then uh, i can see some settings uh, let's click on build settings and then uh, click on the settings uh, link here from here uh, we can see uh, my uh, uh, production branch is main and automatic deployment is enabled so whenever i push any change it will be deployed right away and uh, i don't have any other settings one uh, useful thing if you are using any environment variables in your website uh, then you can you know add them from here uh, let's say uh, you want to add any uh, like uh, uh, you are using any apis and you want to configure your base urls to that api maybe credentials to that api or whatever you can add all the environment variables here right 
so that is it for the environment variables and other things uh, we can check here is uh, we can also have like uh, multiple branches and uh, if we create any branch uh, in our repository uh, we can see uh, uh, whatever changes we do in that uh, branch in here directly in pages uh, without even deploying to the production URL that is this URL right so let's go back to the repository and create a branch just to demo uh, that thing so I'll create a new branch called testing and I'll uh, create it from main branch right so this is done now I have testing branch and uh, from here uh, let's go to uh, code and then load the testing branch uh, in this branch I will edit this file and update its uh, message to main, from main branch to testing branch just to demo this thing right so yeah now in my uh, testing branch I have that uh, message now let's go back to uh, our uh, Cloudflare uh, pages uh, dashboard and in here if you click on uh, view details you can see I have uh, let's go to deployment setting I can see uh, multiple deployments right so this deployment was for main and this is for the testing so this is this is this happened when we created the branch and this is when we updated the index file right so you see I am also getting the new URL for this uh, branch so if I click on this one I'll see uh, my change in that branch and if I go back to the original uh, deployment if I refresh I won't see that change so this is useful in case uh, you are testing something uh, before deploying to a production environment so yeah one other thing you can do is you can invite uh, other team members to collaborate on some website here so for that you have to go to pages and there you can add members so whatever members you add, uh, you can configure their access and they will be able to collaborate with you on that uh, website. So, okay. So last uh, thing we can do, uh, we can try is let's uh, go to the setting and uh, see how we can delete this project. So under build setting, click setting. And there, if you go uh, scroll down under settings in general, you should be able to see delete project so here we can do delete project and uh, write uh, the name of the project and click delete uh, this way we should be able to delete it yes it's gone now if you refresh uh, it doesn't exist anymore but it is not deleted from your github repository so uh, not to freak out or something <laughs> so yeah that's about it for this video i hope you liked it be sure to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in next video